from the brains behind Brains On, this is the moment of um. Answering those questions that make you go. I'm Ruby Guthrie. So today, we have a truly excellent question we're trying to answer. Have you ever thought about the different colors that eggs have? Maybe you've got some chicken eggs in your fridge right now. Are they white or brown or maybe even pale blue or light green? Some birds lay eggs that are silvery gray, lavender, or pink, and some even have speckles or splotches. Have you ever seen a robin's egg? They're pretty small, and they're a beautiful bright blue color. One of our listeners wanted to know more. Hi, my name's London from McKinney, Texas. I am 11 years old, and my question is, why are robin's eggs blue? The blue on robin's eggs is caused by a pigment called biliverdin that the female paints on the eggs after the eggshell is put on inside her body. I'm Bob Montgomery, and I'm a professor at Queen's University in Canada, where I study uh, evolutionary biology and behavior. And uh, blue eggshells are actually quite rare. Only about uh, 1% of birds lay blue eggs, so it's kind of a mystery why they do that. But some experiments we did and a few other people have done on other species suggest that females who are not very healthy don't lay very blue eggs. They're kind of pale blue. So to test this, we did quite a big experiment. We found 100 nests, and we... uh, In some of those nests, we put fake eggs that were quite bright blue, as blue as they get in robins. And in other nests, we put pale blue eggs, and we took the real eggs out and put them in an incubator. And then around the time they were supposed to hatch, we put babies back in the nest, and then we filmed those nests to watch whether males and females were feeding them and how much. And the females fed the babies from pretend blue eggs as much as they did from pretend pale eggs. Whereas the males fed the babies from the bright blue eggs way more than they did the babies from the pale blue eggs. So the males were adjusting their parental care based on the color of the eggs. So males were saying, okay, I've got an unhealthy mate here, and maybe that's not going to be very good for my babies, so maybe I won't put in much effort. And if you think about that, that seems kind of counterintuitive. If you have weak babies, maybe you'd want to feed them more, uh, which would be true of humans. But robins live quite a long time and they have lots of babies. And so what the males are doing in an evolutionary sense is saying, okay, these babies aren't very healthy, so I'm not going to feed them very much because I'm going to get another chance just in a few weeks to have some more babies and I can put my effort into them instead. The pigment that makes robin's eggs blue, biliverdin, is the same substance that makes the blue and teal colors in moth and butterfly wings. And it's also responsible for that bluish color that some bruises have. So a robin's eggs and that sore in my shin have something in common. That fact blew my mind. If you liked this episode, take a second to subscribe to Moment of Um wherever you listen to podcasts or find us on YouTube. And if you just can't wait to hear more, 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 check out the Brains On podcast, where we talk about other cool animal facts, like how do cows make milk? If you have a Moment of Um question, we would love to help you answer it. Drop us a line by going to brainson.org slash contact. Catch you later, alligator. Until then. Um...